Hello, and before this uh, video begins, I just want to say thank you uh, to whoever, you know, took the time to watch this. Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, comment down below if you want me to do something like this again. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video, and leave a like, please. They're freaks, and you want to go, wait, <clears throat> they're freaks, and you want to go back to them. Isn't that why you ran away with me in the first place? I, 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 but she's my mother. She's dying. I don't know why I made her sound like Ethereum, but oh well, too late. I could clearly hear my parents fighting a few rooms away from us. Bro, why is this room wider than my skin? Jesus Christ. Come on, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Annie. You know what it was like growing up in that household. You know how much you hated it. And you want to put that on our son? H hey! Snap. I never but determined little voice called out to me, followed by the snap of her fingers. Oh, oh that's cute. Well, which book will you read to me today? You're so good at storytelling. No, no, no Lily, I, I don't really feel like reading today, and. I've already read the, I've already read them all a thousand times. But but what about Prince Philip or Princess Aurora? I want to know what happened. What's the point? Philip saves Aurora from the evil witch, blah 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 blah. They have a happy ending, they're all the same story. I huffed and looked away from Olivia. The sadness and patheticness in her eyes made me mad. She never had to go through any of this. The shouting continued. I felt numb to it by now. Alright, fucking AZ, settle down here, brother. But, Finn. Finn. What, Lilia? I already said no. I threw one of the picture books on the ground. It opened to the page of the evil witch Samantha imprisoning Princess Diana Sands. Sands! <laughs> it was our favorite book. She loved to look at the pictures while I read to her. She said I made the characters come alive, but Lily didn't back down, even though she was slightly shaking, nervous. She looked at me with determination in her eyes. I couldn't return the gaze. What is it? Y you and me. Huh? You and me. We're going to write a book together. Something new. Something my- something way, way, way better. And it can be whatever you want. What? But- Lilia, you can hardly read, let alone write. Th then I'll draw the pictures. Lilia had already started grabbing some crayons and paper. This is adorable. Here, she said, thrusting a pencil at my face. I don't have all day, you know. My drawings are really, really good. Uh, I... Lilia had already begun drawing with a rare and fiery intensity. I allowed myself to be swept up into the <clears throat> escape she created. Since then, Lilia and I never stopped writing, never stopped drawing. It became our little bond. When we were drawn, we would draw, we would write. Before we knew it, Lilia and I had formed a kind of intense bond but one that was different, strange, and matured from when we were children. It felt more fragile. Lilia, I... I really... Finn, are you okay? I'm fine, I just... I lost my thoughts. You know, Lilia's the one who encountered me to, encouraged me to write. She saved me in a way. I see. But... Hmm? I, I know I haven't known you nearly as long as you've known Lilia, so maybe I don't have the right to say anything, but I think... I think you don't give yourself enough credit, Finn. Lilia might have saved you once, but right now, and all these years, Finn, you have saved yourself and many others with your writing, your creativity. You really inspire me. I mean, I wouldn't agree to be your editor if I didn't think you had talent. And now, you write for yourself, don't you? 
Oh, I yes. Just don't let it get to your head, okay? I know. Thanks, Irma. She smiles back at me. This is I, I like this. You know, this is this is really sweet and wholesome and cute. I love it. Okay. Let's look for books by Sybil now. We weave our way around several bookshelves. <clears throat> I'm so stupid, I swear to God. Several bookshelves tracing each letter one by one. P-Q-R-S. It's, it's, it's what now? I follow Irma's gaze and look to our amazement a series of books with the author Sybil line the bookshelf before us. That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh, throw up in my mouth again. Oh, go ahead. Lordy. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> well. What do you mean, well? Let's start looking. <laughs> like a child, Irma pulls all the books from the shelf, making a cluttered mess on the floor. I suppose that's one way to do it, but by the looks things, hey, I'll take a while to go through all of these. Time quickly passes as the two of us skim through the books before us. As each page goes by, the more fruitless our endeavors become. The idea of mystical spell books and secret codes being stored in a public library was a stupid one to begin with. These are just children's stories. Would have thought a witch would be such a great writer. I'm sure if the kids who read these actually met the author, they'd be more frightened by appearances than the tales of damsels in distress saved by knights in shining armor. Just what is this woman's problem? Is she writing out her own fantasies or something? In an act of frustration, I take hold of our beloved spellbook and toss it towards a nearby bookshelf. What did you do that for? What if you ruin it and we can't save Lilia? Ah, uh, it's just... Wait a second. I look towards the floor at the spellbook I just tossed. The back cover is strewn open on the floor, revealing a short biography of the author in plain English. What we've been looking for was in our hands all along. What? What's that book for? Read this! I quickly pick the book up from the ground, presenting to Derma as she looks towards the back. Towards me with. Wait, she looks back towards me with confusion. I don't get it. Read the last part! There. This renowned witch, also known as her mystical fairy tales and enchanting stories for young human minds, blah 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 blah. Wait, she lives in the forest? Right. Well, we found out she writes children's stories. Perhaps she's not such a bad person after all. We only know for sure once we pay her a visit. We need to save Lilia, and fast. R right. Um, I guess we can come back later and clean up all these books. Y yeah. Tracing back the way we came, it doesn't take us long to exit the library. Our passion now reignited as the hope inside us cascades through our hearts. It's that passion with which we chase our dreams, the three of us. Dot dot dot. <laughs> this. Ayo. Why'd the music change, though? The sound of nature encompasses us as we delved further through the forest, tracing our way along a winding, cobbled path with the darkness as our only company. Bro, is this a horror game now? What is going on, Chief? I look behind, tilting my head down to see Irma's fingers pressed softly against the fabric of my cuff, holding my sleeve tightly as she trails by me. Aw, oh, that's cute. How far away did this place say, did you say this place was? You, you think they would have built her out of here? Just, just how does this woman get your mail? Do, do you really think anyone's going to be writing letters to a witch? Irma's grip on my sleeve tightens as the fabric contracts around my skin. Pulling the sleeve against my shoulder as she continues to tug at my arm, all the while batting her eyes in every possible direction. She's scared, and I have to admit, I kind of see where she's coming from. Honestly, okay. Lilia, top t 10 out of 10. But Irma's pretty damn cute too, I won't lie. The looming shadows of the trees canopying over us, blocking out any hopes of seeing the evening sky above. I decide I would have liked to have shared with her. All I can do is hope she'll be alright. We don't have much time left. What, what are you stopping for? Irma cries out, her nervousness too apparent through her thinly veiled attempts at composure. I never thought I'd see her like this. 
It's, it's nothing, don't worry. I look back towards Irma with a weak smile. Right now, I don't think my heart could muster much else. You say that, but... It's about her, isn't it? What makes you think that? Ever since... Ever since she fainted, you've had this sad look on your face. All day. Why wouldn't I? If we don't do something, she'll... I know, it's just... I think... Before she can finish, an ominous figure, figure lunges from the bush behind us. Bro, what is this, like, jungle music now? Ah! Startled, Irma jumps back behind me, wrapping her arms around, tightly around my waist as the figure approaches. A sight of glowing red eyes clashes against the depths of the shadows as a vicious scowl scrapes her eardrums. It's a... It's a wolf! The beast stands before us, fangs drawn as it pants and salivates at all I can assume is its prey. Us. What are we going to do? Just stay calm. A thousand thoughts rush my mind, encasing me in a sea of doubt and uncertainty, courage and fear. I'd read about how to deal with animal attacks before, but this is the first time I found myself needing to know. Just why can't I think straight? The sight before me slowly but surely drifts into haziness. The trees, the path, Irma, everything becomes a misty figure as the wolf's eyes dig deeper into my consciousness, fear running through every vein. For now, let's just back away slowly. <laughs> if we make ourselves look like less a threat, maybe it'll go away. Uh, are you alright? You don't look so good. As we stand entrapped by the wolf's presence, the creature makes a swift dash toward us, right in the direction of... Irma, look out! Without reason, my body moves in the air, jolting itself in front of Irma as I block the impending swipe. Though, what was once a dark commanding figure quickly dissipates into the air as I hit the ground. Irma stands frozen against the backdrop of crisp autumn leaves peeking out from the dark and the occasional strand of light. An apparition? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like we had nothing to worry about. It was just a ghost. A, a ghost? I'm joking. I just think maybe the stress of today is getting to our heads. It certainly feels like it. The world around me reflects the feelings in my heart. Maybe I hit my head. Whatever it was. Uh, thank you. Why? What are you thanking me for? Where'd you... Where'd your usual courageousness go? Do, do you really think I can be like that? I can't. Not without you. Th that look in your eyes. I only ever saw it around her. B but you protected me. If it was just an appetite or whatever. Apparition. The look on her wrist face seems... Look on Irma's face. It's one of embarrassment. The rosy color of her cheeks strewn above the paleness of her skin. It really does make me... It really does make her look cute sometimes. Irma smiles like she sends her hand out towards me, albeit shaking slightly all the while. The warmth of her skin meets mine, contrasting against the cooling night air as I take her hand in my own, our fingers clasping around each other's. This is really sweet. We're holding hands. Okay, yeah, very sweet. Okay. Can we stay like this for a while? You're so scared? Uh, of course I'm not. It's just... Is it bad to say that I've enjoyed spending time with you today? How so? Irma looks, Irma looks away, her cheeks still crimson in color as she tightens her grip on my hand. You know... What, with Lily's condition and all... It, it's wrong for me to be selfish. What, what do you mean? I have a feeling at what she's hinting at, but something inside me doesn't want to say it out loud. Don't worry, it's nothing. She releases her grip of my hand before taking a single step ahead, turning back to face me. Come on, you haven't got much time left. Irma returns her gaze to the path ahead of us, bashfully taking another step further into the darkness, a stark contrast to her prior uneasiness. I follow suit, breaking into a faster pace in an attempt to catch up with her, taking my place at her side. The cobbled path below quickly fades into a dirt beneath our feet. 
the once hard texture of solid ground becoming sandy and soft as we tread further into the natural landscape. Are you sure we're going the right way? What if we're lost? This is the only way we can go. Still, she's got a point. The safety of the hard stone path has quickly fleeted as we soon find ourselves enclosed by nothing but pure wilderness. The looming night continues to shroud us as we strive forwards to reach our destination. The two of us, together. A cool breeze blows among us, um, um, uh, amongst us, as we walk side by side further down the beaten path of dirt, stone, and grass. I hate myself so much. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose. It's odd. The ever-present sense of unease fills the atmosphere, and neither of us say a word, pressing forward on our mission to save Ilya. The silence is choking. I had once thought of Irma as a very brave, brash girl, but something about her right now tells me that was never the case. She is... cute. Excuse me? <laughs> Am I cute? What? Irma turns to me with a reddened expression coating her face. Her hair flutters in the breeze, she stares towards me with a determined expression. Y you heard what I said? Am I cute? With an even stronger expression than before, Irma inches closer towards me with a nervous voice contrasting her strong posture. I don't know how to answer. That look in your eyes, when you're protecting me, I'd only ever seen that around her. L Lilia? Irma flinches at the mention of her name. What do you mean? Deep down, the answer is already there, but something inside me doesn't want to admit it. I've always wished you'd look at that. I've always wished that you'd look at me like that. I guess my wish came true, right? Irma's glossy pink lips upturn as she feigns a smile. One of nervousness, denial, guilt, whatever it is, I can't put my finger on it. She's cute. When my heart wants something else, someone else, being in this position is hard. Just what do I want? I know how you feel about Vilia. I guess I'm just a little jealous is all. <laughs> Finishing her sentence with a laugh, Irma averts her eyes from mine biting her lips nervously as she pauses for thought. A anyways, just ignore me. I, I, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. You're saying something from the heart, right? Eh. Armor turns her gaze to me. Now visibly shocked as her mouth hangs ajar and the blush on her face deepens. But at a time like this, I... It's wrong. Just forget it, okay? I can't. Something inside me can't. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I want to talk about her feelings. What, what are you trying to say? I told you to forget about it. I'm gonna save just in case. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. If you keep asking, I don't know how long I'll be able to hold it together. Now really isn't the time. It's all my fault, really. I don't think it's your fault. Eh? It's okay to feel that way. Emotions are stubborn after all, aren't they? Preach, brother. I, I know what it feels like. Say that I can't understand how she feels, I'd be wrong. But just what would be right? Well, I have my own feelings, someone I want to be there for. The feelings are the same for the both of them. At some point, I'm going to need to confront these those very emotions that we hold so dearly. Or what is this fucking order? Guy, god damn. Anyway. Oh wait, no, it's me. Anyway, we're a team, right? We need to find Lilia fast. I can't do it without you. Irma's blush deepens, turning her face away from me once again as she regains a steady breath. I stretched my hand out towards her. After all, if it wasn't for her efforts, the three of us wouldn't be where we are today. Y you want to hold hands again? 
What? What? I looked down to his master's hand and realized how bull of a move that really is. Damn, I'm a Chad. We're a team, right? After all of this is over, let's make the visual level of our dreams. Right. Returning my hand to my side, Irma smiles towards me as I turn and respond with a warm expression of my own. Despite a day full of stress and worry, having moments like this is what I really cherish. The strength of heart to see something through together. I'll protect those days, no matter what. Bro, this is anime as fuck. Um, anyways, as we continue to trail through the forest, the world around me begins to blur. A mosaic of sights, shapes, and colors. Irma, too, looking dis distinctly different against the pained world behind her. A portrait of my friend, still smiling, ever so different than what she'd always been before. As she always looked so... I think we made it. Irma points ahead with a stronger smile on her face than before, one I'd call determined. It's nice to see, especially after all we've been through. I trace the path for extended arm with my gaze, quickly shifting from her to the scene before us, a small, desolate cottage in a, stale of, in a state of somewhat disrepair. I guess that's about to be it. We finally made it. Oh boy. Oh boy, horror music will be turned. Irma looks at me expectantly as we reach the door of the small cottage in front of us. You, you do it. I, I, I don't want to get my hands dirty. You're wearing gloves. <laughs> I knock quietly on the door. Silent. The air around us feels stifling. I knock again, this time much louder than I intended. A threatening voice booms out from within the house. Who dares interrupt me? Leave now or you will regret it. Suddenly a small swarm of bats fly around our heads. Irma squeals. Ack! What, what, what is this? Wolves appear out of the dark and begin to surround us as the ap as the apparitions. This are are they apparitions this time? Dang, I can't read. I'm illiterate. I didn't want to find out. I'm starting to think that maybe she's not such a good person. <laughs> But we couldn't run after coming this far. Lilia, the time was almost running out. It was 11 p.m. Please, w which Sybil? Is that you? We need your help. But only silence followed as the wolves inch closer to us and the bat circle was more menacingly. Every second felt like an hour as we waited. But please. After a moment, the bats fly away and the wolves run off deeper into the forest. They really were in apparitions this time. The door to the cottage opens with a small creak and a smaller voice calls out. What do you want? I'm quite busy. I don't live all the way out here to be interrupted. A woman appears before us in the doorway. Her gaze immediately falls upon Irma, her face souring. Oh? How distasteful. Well, I mean, I can't give her that voice anymore because she looks like that. Oh, how distasteful. <laughs> the witch turns to look at me, her gaze drawn to my hands, clutching her grandmother's my my grandmother's spell book. Oh. Somehow she sounds even more irrit Oh okay, she was Oh. Somehow she sounds even more irritated this time. I'll come in then. I can tell something has gone terribly wrong. Irma and I exchange glances. I shrug and we enter the somewhat derelict cottage. Sybil pulls out two wooden chairs out from a wooden table. Motioning us to sit. Okay, I was trying to make sure I read that right. The two of us waiting in awkward wait in awkward silence as the witch doesn't say anything, busying herself with shuffling papers and putting away some pen inks and paints. It seems she was in the middle of working on another of her children's books. Sybil finally sits down. So then, do what to do what to what uh, blah, blah. to what do I owe the displeasure of having you two in my home? We quietly explain to the witch about Olivia and we can't, why we came here. The witch's expression is unreadable and she only stops us to occasionally clarify certain details. 
But if my mother had no power, and I mean, I'm also a guy, then how could I actually have cast these spells? There are male witches. I'm not sure where such misinformation came from. Male witches are certainly not warlocks either. But yes, indeed, it is a curious case. Your grandmother must have been quite a powerful witch. It's likely your mother witch powers lay dormant inside her until you are born and it was passed on to you. Improbable, yes, but impossible, no. Either way, you shouldn't mess with powers outside of your understanding or training. Perhaps you will take this as your first lesson, not to play with things you don't understand. Well, wait, are you saying you won't help us? I am quite busy. Busy with what, children's books? Our friend is going to die! What? what It is that so hard to understand? I, I have dreams too. I mean, it's none of your business anyway. Sybil sighs. I can sense your determination and anger. But the truth is, I don't have the power to reverse your spell. What, what do you mean? Aren't you a witch? Hexing is much easier than reversing a hex. If I had more time, then yes. Sybil stays silent for a few minutes to even thought. Well, there is one way, but... But what? We'll do it. Anything. Yes, anything, please. In such a short amount of time, it would take an incredible amount of power. The Hex has progressed so much. I would need an equal amount of power, raw power, in this case, life essence, to reverse the spell's progression. Put simply, I would need Irma's life essence to bring Lilia back. What? What? No. The witch stares at us in silence for a moment. Or, you don't have to bring Lilia back. H huh? That is the second option. You could simply leave her. Leave here with Irma. No, I couldn't. Lilia, Irma... Finn, it's okay, really. Lilia, she needs you, you know? And I know how much you care about her. Irma, no, I couldn't. Decide, Finn, or this, or time will decide for you. We've not much of it left. Bruh. <laughs> oh, ayo. Hey, <laughs> I don't... Oh, fuck my ass raw, dude. I can't... I don't... I don't know, Lily, I've been thoughts... Hold on, let me save. Lily, I've been thoughts... I've been through so much with both of them. Without Lily, I'm not sure if I would even be here. She's helped me through thick and thin. She's perceptive and always makes everyone around here feel at ease. Her art has helped make our visual novel shine. Nerma, I've only known her for a few years, but she's helped me so much. She's always the one to help me on my feet when I'm down or don't know what to do. Her editing skills help me take a moment to reflect on what I want to say and how to say it in the right words. They both mean so much to me. The one who matters the most to me is... Huh, you're really gonna do me like that, huh? <laughs> Fucking yellow. It's a very difficult decision to make, but I have no other option. Lilia needs me. It's my whole fault. Her life is in danger. And I I love Lilia. The special bond we share means more to me than anything else in the world. Irma has always been there for us, but I could never feel the same way about her. She could never compare to Lilia. Damn, bro, I feel so bad right now, Chief. I feel bad. <laughs> I need Lilia in my life, no matter what. Irma, I... I... I understand, Finn. I know that Lilia is very precious to you. I know she means more to you than I ever will. Than I ever could. Irma, that's... I'm... I'm sorry. Please... Please don't apologize. Irma, I turn to Sybil, 
Guilt heavy in my heart, bro. <laughs> Sybil, I have come to a decision. Very well then, let's begin. The witch begins chanting an incantation I can't comprehend. A bright light begins to fill the room and... Last thing I see before I'm blinded by the light is Irma's face. I didn't know it then, but that face would haunt me for the rest of my life. Jesus Christ, bro. Lilia never forgave me for what I did, and it was never the same between us again. Well, that was shit. <laughs> Not the game. That, that, that ending. Uh... So, um... We're going to load from here. Um, I'll be back. I need to do something. Okay, I said Irma's cute, so maybe this will make Irma go to sleep and Lilia stay with us. I hope. Okay, so we're gonna load. That doesn't do crap. So we're gonna load this. Load this say yeah. Okay. Let's hit dot 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 again. I don't know where I'm supposed to be is. No, I couldn't live without either. I I Please leave my life essence instead to stay with Lilia. No, Finn, you can't. Hmm, how valiant of you. Like, like a knight in shining armor. Sybil coughed. Hmm, hmm, very well then. Finn, Finn, no! The witch began chanting an incantation I can't comprehend. The world around me turns white and Irma's yelling slowly fades away. I feel myself becoming weaker and weaker until I almost feel weightless. Is this... is this what it's like to die? If it's to save both of them, I'm fine with it. All I can see is light. There's no sound, no visuals, and no feeling. It's absolute peace. I began to close my eyes again. You're stronger than you look. Perhaps try embracing that power of yours someday instead of keeping it locked away. You know where to find me. Uh. I instantly feel heavy, I feel myself begin to fall, and then pain, excruciating pain, washes over my entire body. It feels like a thousand knives are stabbing me. I fall further and further, crying out in pain. Thunk! Finn? A serene voice, the sound of bells, call out to me, and then the pain disappears. I open my eyes. I'm back home. I get up with a jolt. Where's... Ah! Oh! Irma and Lily are on each side of me. L Lilia, you're awake! And Irma, you're okay! Oh, Finn. I thought you were... I thought... Lilia told me everything. L Lilia told me... Or Irma told me everything. You're you're both so brave. And, and Finn, I can't believe you almost... Lilia's voice began to choke up and she can't finish her sentence. I, I don't know what I would do in the world without you. And Irma too. I'm glad you're okay. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. But I, I really am glad, so glad you're both safe. Ugly, a full sure. F Finn. Lilia's startled. She doesn't move, but looks visibly distressed. Uh, um, could could you please let go of me? Hey, Finn, get off her. She's clearly uncomfortable, you pervert. Irma pushes me off Lilia. Cause she jealous. Ow. <laughs> that that surprised me. S sorry, Lilia. I'm just so relieved that you're okay. Uh oh, of course. That's okay. Thank you for saving me, both of you. Yeah, but don't forget we wouldn't have been in the situation not for Mr. Witch himself. <laughs> We awkwardly laugh together. I'm so relieved that the three of us are safe. A few months later. A lot has happened since the Halloween. We to realize how intrinsic each one of us are to each other. Well, Lily and I also published our visual novel. We only have a small following, but we have a lot of effort and put a lot of effort into it, which is what matters the most. Hopefully one day we'll become a full-fledged visual novel studio. And I've learned to accept my powers for what they are. I've been taking lessons with Sibyl and helped her publish her children's books to a wider audience, which is still her passion. I've learned a lot from Sibyl, but lately... 
Finn, pay attention, please. Uh, oh, sorry. She's been asking me to roleplay her children book characters in exchange for teaching me witchcraft. She says she needs it to help write better stories. It's not like I have anything else to do. Her and Lily are a lot more busy now. So I've been helping her out. N now, read line 187, please. Uh, um... Uh, oh, fairest lady, Princess Sibylla, it is I, your Prince Jarvis the Fourth, that hath come to rescue you. Y yes, th that's perfect writing material, of course. Continue. Y yes, ma'am. Ending three of five, friends forever and Sibylla's helper. I think that's the best ending. But anyway. That, that's gonna do it for now. Uh, that was, honestly, that was fun. It was cute. It was shorter than I expected, but, you know, I liked it. I wish there was more screen time of Lilia, but oh well. You know, them's the breaks, I guess. I also got the, well, at least we figured out how to do the good ending, so yay. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how many people are actually gonna watch me play a stupid dating sim. But, um, yeah, I hope, I hope those of you who do... Uh, you enjoyed this. It was fun to record, and it was very funny, at least in my opinion. So, yeah. I had fun doing this, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, like the video. And leave a comment down below of, you know, if you want me to do something like this again. I mean, I probably will do something like this again, but, you know. We'll see. Anyways, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.